And finally, my last question here is number 11. We have a lot of radical radical um, questions today because I feel like a lot of students struggle with this, uh, with this topic of radicals here. But number 11, again, what is the square root of 89? This here will be our last problem of the day here. Square root of 89. So again, two solutions. I can have I can two or two types of solutions, simplified radical form or long division. And as you can see, I think it's probably the same person who's doing this, but they did the long division. So therefore, I did the simplified radical. Di simplified radical form. So I'm taking the square root of 89 here, and I'm looking at the factors here. So what, what can I factor here? 89 here. Um, this one's a tricky number because I don't think... I don't, I, is 89 here a prime number? If it is a prime number, and I think indeed it's a prime number here. So I don't think I can actually use simplified radical form here. So this is when this method fails. It weighs when I have a prime number. So, the, so this here is actually already the simplified radical form here. So this here is a prime number. So therefore, there's no simplified radical form here. So therefore, it's still root 89. So we have to turn to long division here. And this is when we do our long division. So we have, again, 89 here. And you can show, and I, I can walk you through the solution, actually, uh, for this problem as well. But if I have 89 here, I'm taking what, so what number squared here would give me closest to 89? Well, 9 squared would give me closest to 89, right? So 9, 9 squared here is, I know, is 81. And 89 minus 1 over 81 here is 8. And then I'm putting a decimal place here because I'm going to add two zeros here. Um, and then what I can do next is I am doubling my, um, my, my quotient here to make it 18. So I have one eight here, and then I'm leaving this value blank. So I'm thinking of what number here and what number here, and they have to be the same number as always, would give me closer to 800. Well, I can have, again, I can basically do my calculator 181 times one, 181 times, 182 times two. So let me do 181 times one is obviously 181, so that's not correct. 182 times two, we're gonna be 364, so that's, we're getting closer. 183 times 3 would give me 549, and then 184 times 4 would give me cl the closest number, which is 736. So this here is 4, so that would be 4 as well. So I would get 736 here. I subtract both numbers here, I would get 64, and adding two zeros again to this value here. And then what I have to do to this guy here is I have 180, I would have to double um, my divisor here, so or quotient here. So four dub double that is simply eight, right? Four times four, four times two here is eight, and then I'm simply uh, leaving this value blank, right? So I have one eight eight blank times what number, which is also blank, uh, equals sixty four hundred. So I have one eight eight one times one here is one eight eight one, obviously not close. So I have one eight eight two times two, which is three seven six four. So getting closer, one eight eight three times three here would be five six four nine. Um, and let me try one more. 184 times 4 here is 7536. So that's too big. So uh, therefore, I would do 1883 here times 3. So 1883, and this here would be a 3, would be 5649. I can subtract both of those numbers to get me uh, 751 here. And this here, and I stop here, right? This here is my... Um, this here is my answer. And as you can see, 9.43 is my answer here. So this is the long division using um, to find a radical. So therefore, I can write root of 89 is approximately equal to plus or minus 9.43. And this here is my solution for this problem here. And as you can see, they had also the correct solution here. So the solution here is correct. Correct. Good analysis. So thank you so much for watching. Again, I finished my 11th problem for today. Um, if you liked what I did today, again, you can feel free to uh, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash one class. Again, my name is Joey. I'm currently a teacher here at one class and I'll be kind of streaming from Monday to Friday um, for both subjects. So again, I stream uh, math on Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. 
uh, and I stream chemistry on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So you can feel free to check me out. I'm going to stream again at about noon Eastern time. So about an hour from then, I'm going to focus mostly problems in the grade 10, 11, and 12 uh, subjects. So again, um, if you're tuning in from the U.S., this would be probably uh, the end of Algebra 1, Algebra 2, and pre-calculus questions. So I'm going to do problems with uh, pertaining to uh, those subjects. Um, yeah, and that's about it. If you Again, if you have any questions, feel free to... Um, you can always always ping me in the chat um, if you're watching, um, or you can just kind of submit your questions to one class, and I'll try to filter those out as well. So again, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great. Day.